live from the local station. News 4 Jacks starts now. While his lungs may be failing him, his heart remains full for the people of this city. Those words from Tommy Hazuri's office today as the former mayor and current city councilman enters hospice care at home. Azuri is to be released from the Mayo Clinic sometime today after being hospitalized just recently for complications related to his lung transplant last year. His office says the 76-year-old appreciates all the thoughts, well wishes, and prayers from the community. And News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live from City Hall where he's been talking with people about Azuri, their thoughts on what is happening now as well. Jim. Their thoughts are they were surprised what happened. You know, Tommy Hazuri has been so active ever since that transplant last July. You got to think of the things that he's been doing as the former council president. He was there during the Lot J debate, during the JEA debacle, and even during the pandemic. And now, like I said, he had been working hard even after that lung transplant, and that surprised a lot of people. Council members took time out to pray during last night's meeting for Tommy Azuri and his recovery. The news today that he's heading home under hospice care might sound like a setback, but for Council President Sam Newby, that's not the case. He spoke with Azuri this morning on the phone. He was in good spirits and he was just more concerned about Jacksonville. He was talking about different things about Jacksonville. He just wants Jacksonville to be great. Did he talk about his health, uh, how he felt, and, you know, what, what did he think of his prognosis, or did you even discuss his health? Well, we talked a little bit about it, but he told me that he, he thinks he's going to be back. So he's, he's pretty positive. Yeah, about that's it. what he says. And what would you tell people right now? I mean, you mentioned our thoughts are with him, but what, what do you think? Well, you know, I believe that he is going to be back. I mean, Tom is a fighter. He's always been a fighter, and I think he's going to be back. Because one thing I can say Tommy Hazuri loves Jacksonville. And there's quite a bit of history with Azuri and Jacksonville. He spent 12 years in the Florida House of Representatives and then served as mayor from 1987 to 1991. And during that time, he brought down tolls and helped abolish Jacksonville's odor problem. He later joined the school board, where he was a member from 2004 to 2012, and then right back here to City Hall, where he is now an at-large councilman and former council president. You know, I've covered Tommy Hazuri for 36 years. Ever since I've been here in Jacksonville, he's always been outspoken, but he's always ready to talk. And I'll tell you, even with this and during this recovery, I hope to be able to talk to him while he's doing this because he has good things to say about Jacksonville and he's very proud of this city. For now, we're live at City Hall. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank Jim, you. thank you. I've covered Tommy Hazuri since 1975 when I was a rookie Jacksonville reporter and he was a rookie state legislator. He loves talking with reporters mm -hmm. and every one of us, Jim included, right. who has ever interviewed him has always heard him ask, what do you want me to say? <laughs> now, of course, we would never tell him or any other politician what to say. And then he would overcome his reluctance to comment, his self-consciousness, and he would tell us his views on any issue that we were asking about. Now, on a personal note, if you've ever been in the Mandarin Walmart when Tommy Hazuri was in the store, it was like being in a Walmart with Elvis. Everyone knows him, and they want to talk with him, and he's always willing to talk with them. Both he and his longtime school teacher wife, Carol, are loved by so many people here in Jacksonville. There are so many prayers going out for the Hazuris. Tom, that is so true. But I have to say, if you've ever been in the Mandarin Panera, too, I've been there so many times where I've found Tommy and sometimes Carol, but it's always Tommy holding court. Such a presence in this community, and as you said, so loved, and so many prayers going up for him tonight. And as you heard Councilman Newby say, Tommy told Councilman Newby that he plans to be back at mm -hmm. City Hall. Our coverage continues on our website, newsforjax.com, with more well wishes and kind words from Missouri's colleagues and friends. The story is right there on the homepage.